this is biotechnica and you're listening to india's first life science podcast the voice of biotechnica unconditional love and care that's what are synonymous to the word mother and we as indians are blessed with one more magnificent unlimited love from river ganga whom we fondly called as ma ganga hello and welcome to the another interesting chapter brought to you by biotechnica my name is kajol and i'll be sharing some of the interesting facts about one of the oldest and divine rivers of the world ganga ganga is known to be the lifeline to immense amount of people in india and is known to be the heartbeats of the spiritual life of the indian culture self cleansing and healing power has always been associated with river ganga but lately scientific research has also backed this claim the water of ganga has demonstrated an interesting bactericidal activity that is the ability to kill bacteria as this puzzle unfolds it appears to be related to bacteriophages these are the soldiers that kill bacteria by infecting them and hence out to provide a very useful alternative to antibiotics in the form of phage theory or phage theory and important aspects related to these phages is that they are essentially harmless to humans and they are highly strain specific like for example let's consider bacteria that causes cholera vibrio cholerae this phage that will kill this life threatening bacteria will be specific to it and won't be effective towards any other cells and the most prominent thing about these phages is that they often target bacteria that are responsible for causing deadly diseases the river have been proved to have antibacterial properties one of its proof is that it can retain high amount of dissolved oxygen in tremendous polluted conditions as well This fascinating bactericidal property of Ganges water was being found first by the British bacteriologist Ernest Hankin in 1896. He found that colonies of cholera bacteria which thrive in tap water they quickly die on encountering with Ganga water. He further studied this phenomena by boiling one sample of Ganga water and filtering another sample of Ganga. The finding were astounding as the filtered one continued to show an antibacterial effect while the boiled one did not. This concluded that the factor responsible for antibacterial properties of Ganges were heat labile. After almost 2 decades a Canadian microbiologist named Felix D Herrel was working at the Institut Pasteur in Paris in 1916 and he found and explained the structure of phages which are composed of proteins as an outer envelope with genetic material inside it they also possess properties like being heat labile which corresponded perfectly to the hackins findings wow self cleansing and self healing are an inspirational properties of ganges isn't it hence there is no hindu tradition that is complete without the use of ganga jal it is one of the best example of fresh water ecosystem with its origin from gangotri which is located in uttaranchal and covering around 2525 kilometers before it meets the indian ocean and this meeting place is known as ganga sagar which is located in west bengal but unfortunately the symbol of purity is being dishonored by neglected and immature activities of humans just like sometimes when we fail to appreciate our mother's unconditional love likewise we are exploiting the unconditional love given by ganga to us by overusing and polluting it The figures related to the pollution caused by humans are disturbing but they cannot be ignored. Like the studies carried out with the help of the sponsorship given by the World Bank and its collaboration with UP government have found out that around 9 to 12% of the total deceased caused in UP is contributed by drinking Ganga water. 
The reason is the coliform bacterial density which is in excess in around 2 lakh MPN as against the national water quality standards of 5000. Coliform presence is an indication of the fecal pollution and we are talking about its presence in the drinking water which is highly alarming. In the Central Pollution Control Board survey report which was published in 1985 it was found that 1340 million liters of sewage produced each day around in 25 towns residing on the banks of Ganges were being thoughtlessly poured in the divine water. Apart from the sewage water industrial waste and around 6 million tons of fertilizers and 9000 tons of pesticides carried along with runoffs. A huge quantity of solid waste including thousands of animal carcasses and human corpses are released in the river every single day. With respect to a report presented by CPCP to National Green Tribunal in August 2018, around as less as 5 out of 70 odd monitoring stations had water that are fit for drinking and almost 7 of them are fit for bathing. How can we expect bacteriophage alone to deal with this huge diversity of pollutants produced by humans every single day? As there are thoughtless people who are committed to pollute our Ganga, there are thoughtful people as well who are committed to fight this river pollution. One such global family created for this purpose is Ganga Action Parivar, foundly called as GAP, which is dedicated to cleaning up river Ganga and also deal with issues related to it. GAP work includes a huge plethora of services ranging from solid waste management to wastewater management and awareness regarding education with a vision of cleaning river Ganga. In India, most of the municipal wastewater treatment plants utilize primary and secondary treatment technologies. Primary treatment is utilized to remove waste like grit, plastic bags, debris, large particles, oil, grease by using either the moving or stationary bar screens while secondary treatment technologies utilize the biological processes related to biofilms, flotation, natural or forced aeration, clarification and gravity settlement technologies. These are some of the techniques which are used by GAP to clean Ganga. In another interesting research which was carried out by Dr. Asha Lata Singh, Assistant Lecturer of Environmental Science at the Department of Botany, BHU University, that is Banaras Hindu University, was about using friendly bacteria to remove toxic pollutants from River Ganga. Her research was concentrated on the use of bacterial population which feeds and multiplies on pollutants to be used for developing a microbe based cleansing technique. For this particular approach, these bacteria first need to be isolated from other present water of Ganga, grown and then released. This brilliant method based on microbial cleansing techniques can be divided into two basic phases. The first will be an industrial unit which are responsible for discharging water into the Ganga and the second at the sewage treatment plants. Looking at this unique study, it is so enchanting that we can use the healing powers that Ganga poses itself to heal our respected river Ganga. This looking at the biological remediations to kill clean Ganga, there are some promising bacteria and bacteriophages that can be utilized to treat toxic chemicals as well as toxic bacteria respectively. We as humans must respect and take care of our natural ecosystems and most importantly clean up the mess that we have created since we speciated into Homo sapiens. As this beautiful earth and its resources are, not, are just not created for us, that is the Homo sapiens, but for each and every species that live on it. 
Thank you all and I hope that we will be careful and thoughtful about our actions next time while handling any of the natural resources. Thank you.